What's good, y'all? It's Lance. Uh, I'm here with my first video on my channel. If you're watching this right now, I really appreciate you for tuning in. It means a whole lot to me. Uh, I got a lot more videos coming. Um, this channel is something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. And uh, I thought, you know, with being in quarantine and everything, um, and school about to start, I just feel like this is the perfect time to do this. So um, if you haven't already, subscribe, share this channel to everybody, anybody that you know. Uh, I really appreciate it. I posted on my social media a couple of days ago about my channel and uh, I would have posted sooner but I just really wanted to take time out to um, find the right thing to talk about. Um, I was thinking about a whole different, a uh, whole lot of different things to do and uh, I didn't know if I wanted to just go more into like um, reaction videos because I can't, it's kind of hard to just go out and do things right now but um, I thought the first thing that I should do um, is talk about something that I've been dealing with for the past like maybe six seven months now and it's my spiritual awakening that I've been having um, it's something that has like literally changed my whole life for the better I'm so happy that I went that I'm going through it right now and that I went through it you know back then but um, I just thought today would be a great um, first video to talk about my, uh, my talk about my journey and how I am how I got to the point I am right now uh, but before I get into the video, like I said before, if you haven't already subscribed, oh, um, I was thinking about a whole different, a uh, whole lot of different things to do, and uh, I didn't know if I wanted to just go more into like um, reaction videos because I can't. It's kind of hard to just go out and do things right now. But um, I thought the first thing that I should do um, is talk about something that I've been dealing with for the past like maybe six, seven months now and it's my spiritual awakening that i've been having um it's something that has like literally changed my whole life for the better I'm so happy that i went that i'm going through it right now and that i went through it you know back then but um i just thought today would be a great um first video to talk about my journey and how i am how i got to the point i am right now but before i get into the video like i said before if you haven't already subscribe share the link like the video Let's hop into this. In November of 2019, uh, while I was in college, um, you know, I'd be going to class and whatever. I wake up and uh, I would just start seeing repeating numbers everywhere. Like I didn't really understand what was going on. Like I would be walking to the dining hall and I would see like two, 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 where I would be. Um, I would sit in class and then look like, like while the teacher is lecturing on the board I'm seeing 333 and I, I just didn't understand what was going on I was just confused because I'm thinking to myself why do I keep seeing these numbers um so after seeing them for a while I started like writing them down on my phone so and this, and this is something that I'm even doing today like ever since then I like I'll keep track of all the numbers that I see on a daily basis so I think the first number I ever saw was like 333 um when I saw it I was just like I'm like what the seeing this I kept seeing it like repeatedly all day like I saw it like maybe four or five times within like a six hour span it was it was kind of ridiculous so I, I wrote it down because I'm a big believer in like you know um, you know signs and stuff like that from from the universe even before this whole spiritual awakening thing so I just thought you know what um, maybe this is a sign that um, some somebody or something is trying to um, get to me so I, I should write this down. So I wrote it down. I got back to my dorm room and uh, I looked up, um, you know, I just Googled like, uh, what does it mean if you keep seeing like 333 everywhere? Like, am I going crazy or whatever? And then, cause I thought like, you know, it's gotta be a sign. Like maybe it's like, it means something. So when I look it up, I realized that it's something called an angel number. It has a lot of different names for it, but I know them as angel numbers. So. Uh, what I've learned so far and as I'm going I'll make more videos about this but as of right now this is like I'm, I'm just going off of what I know so far and if anybody watching this video knows anything more about ancient numbers that I haven't talked about in this video please make sure to hit me up and let me know because I would love to learn more about it but um what I figured out was it's just like the angel number it's just like it's like the it's like your angels or the angels trying to send messages to you at first I was a little um I'm wondering to myself like like what the hell? I've never, I've never dealt with this in my life. Like, I, like I've never thought about angel numbers. Like, what is that? So I look up like three, three, three and the different meanings of it, and 
I was trying to see if like, how those meanings were applying to my life. So one of the meanings that I saw for it was, um, you know, was it like your thoughts, like maybe like one of your thoughts or your, um, or something in your life is out of balance, like for 333. That was one of the meanings that I saw, and I was going through all the different meanings, and I'm, as I'm as I'm reading them all, I'm thinking to myself, like, a lot of these meanings are applying to what's going on in my life right now. So, um, I just kept, I kept, I kept thinking to myself, like, you know what, um, these numbers, it's like, there's something special behind this, and that I need, I need to keep doing more research about it. So, that happened, um, around the end of November, so... When December came, right before our, our uh, Christmas break, I started seeing different numbers. So now it's like now I'm seeing one 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 four four four, um, six 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 seven 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 eight eight eight. Like I'm seeing all these type of numbers. So I'm on a mission daily to try to figure out what these numbers are meaning. So I, I look back and I make sure that like after I write them down on my phone, I write down what was going on in my life at that very moment. So if I saw eight eight eight, I'd be like, okay. I saw 888 at the at the bookstore while I was checking out. I write that down. And then I would go back later and then look up what that number means. And then try to see how that meaning could apply to what happened during that time. So as time went on, and I'll do another video on angel numbers too if y'all want that. But um, everything just started to make sense. I started like, I was able to define what each number meant for my life. Because everybody, like, like people see angel numbers, but everybody's meanings are different. Because it only applies to your life and what you're going through. So I took all those numbers, I basically deciphered their meaning, and then I now I know when I see each number every single day, I know what it means. So I've been like that happened in December. I've been seeing them, I see them every single day, even today. I see them every day. I see at least maybe six to ten numbers per day. Now I've came to the conclusion now after like certain events that have gone on in my life that coincidences are not real. I feel like because if everything in life happens for a reason, then a coincidence is not a thing because if events happen for a reason then like there's a purpose behind that event and that's how I look at my life now and it just it made me look at my whole life different you know I started because after you after I found angel numbers I started realizing like what a spiritual awakening was because I started um, doing a lot of research and finding out that a lot of people that start their spiritual journey they start seeing angel numbers first that's like the first thing that happens to them so um, as time went on, my whole mindset started to change because of the research that I was doing. So I really just started questioning everything that was going on in my life, like to me being in school, to me, um, to the things I would eat, to people I hang out with, um, the things I would say, everything, I just, I completely changed it. When I was younger, especially in high school mainly, I felt like I was, I was a very negative type of person to myself really not really to other people but more to myself because um the school i was going to i really didn't want to be there i tried to transfer like three different times and my mom would not let me but i, I didn't want to be there and with that being um like being in that situation it kind of made me project negative things into my life and i started to understand the power of speaking things into existence i started understanding what that meant you know how when you say something negative about your life like you're saying like you know i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna fail this test and then you end up failing that test you know like you really spoke it into existence and you, so you really have to be careful what you're saying you know and i started to understand that and when i did um things started to change for me so um i was able i was able to just keep a more optimistic mindset in my life and um my whole trajectory of life to me, in my opinion, changed. I know if you if you probably haven't seen me for a long, for a long time, you probably think I'm the same person that you know I was in high school because I really haven't changed that much physically. But mentally, it's like a to I'm like a totally different person, and I'm I'm really happy with my journey and where I've been and what I've been doing so far in my life. And I know there's only some, um, positive things from here. But to keep it going, another key thing that happened was that I was able to refocus my life and change it for the better. So recently, I was able to, uh, you know, I, when I was in, so okay, I'll slow down. So in January, I transferred to a new school, University of Minnesota. I transferred there by myself. I didn't really know anybody over there. I, like, I knew people, but 
I really wasn't close with them, so I really didn't talk to anybody. I was just kind of there, kind of transferring school mid year, and I knew it would be like I knew it would be an adjustment, but I was like, you know, it is something that I have to do because the previous school I was at, um, I just I didn't want to be there anymore. The environment and like like the environment was just bad for me, and I felt like it was a good change. So when I made that change, I'm at the University of Minnesota, um, and even though I don't really, I'm not talking to anybody like that. Like I was talking to some people, but it wasn't anything like um, with substance. It was just like, you know, we're just talking, hey, what's up, hi. No, but for some reason, even though like I wasn't around anybody, I was so happy. Like I was just happy because I, I don't know, like my mindset was just so different because I would just get up every day, just energized, I was happy. And I was able to just focus on um, what I was trying to accomplish and, the, and my goals and aspirations that I have for my life. So, not to say that you can't have, not to say that if you have friends, you can't focus on your dreams and stuff. But with me, I'm more of a, I'm, I'm a person that gets more done alone. I, if I'm alone, I can focus a lot better than having three or four people around me, even if they're good friends, you know? So I took that time. I mean, shout out to Corona, man, for, uh, for cutting my time short. But, uh, in the time that I was on campus, um, I got so much done. I was, I honestly credit all of that to my spiritual awakening. I really do. And I know some people out there might find it uh, crazy or whatever, but it's, I don't give a fuck. It's cool. The way I'm thinking right now is it really just made me want, want to just be a, uh, optimistic type person and do what I need to do to get to where I need to go to but I have a lot of dreams and I know that with, for me to do that I have to have the most positive mindset every single day and my spiritual awakening really helped me with that like I got into meditation I mean I did a little bit in high school because I had a class called spiritual awakenings actually shout out to mr. Sean um, we used to always meditate in class but I used to always just joke around I used to always think it was funny because having to sit there in a you know, crisscross applesauce and closing my eyes for like 10 50 minutes I couldn't really do it I couldn't focus but then now I was able to look um, to look at the benefits and it really clears your mind for the better if you really if you're really stressed out in your life right now I really recommend meditation if you're not doing it already it's it's a powerful thing it, it seems kind of at first it's a little it's a little challenging because it's hard to get your mind focused uh, but once you do at like if you keep doing it after a while it, 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 it really changes everything for you and I'm really happy that I started doing that, you know? Um, and like I said, uh, at this point I'm kind of rambling. Yeah, I'm, I don't really, I, I got a couple notes here, but I'm as of right now I'm kind of just going off the top of my head and everything, anything that I can think of. Like it also helped me to kind of look deeper into astrology that like, I remember at the previous school that I was at, um, there were a lot of people around me that, that were into astrology and at, at that time I would look at them crazy because they would always be like, hey, what's your sign, this and that, and I'd be like, ah, like what, like what the fuck, like, it's, like, I'm not trying to do all that. But then I took time to research and learn about, like, um, astrology and zodiac signs and what the meaning of certain things are and your birth chart and all that type of things and it really made a lot of sense to me because it was really starting to answer some questions that I had about my own life um, through my through my birth chart. It's kind of funny because when I like watch YouTube videos on it, like you don't see a lot of guys talking about it. It's more of like a you know more. It's a lot more female YouTubers talking about it. But hopefully, I can be one of them. I, I can be a guy that can that can bring that can change that narrative and you know bring astrology to the forefront because I feel like I feel like it's something that needs to be taught in schools too because I think it's it's important for us to learn about ourselves learn how we operate and what makes us you know successful well i can see this video is getting kind of long but i wanted to just say thank you anybody that tuned into this video i appreciate you got love for you um if you enjoy what you what you watch please like subscribe share you know comment i want to see feedback uh, on the video uh if i look a little nervous man it's my first video you know it's, I, I don't really you know it's kind of weird talking to a camera but i know i'm talking to y'all so i appreciate y'all for tuning in i'm out